Okay, so this is the Galaxy S5, 5.1 inch full HD Super AMOLED display, running Android 4.4 KitKat, 2800 milliamp battery, and a 16 megapixel rear BSI signal sensor. A couple new features on the S5 at the moment. Two of the main camera features are live HDR. So using just the one button on the left hand side, you get to see the results of HDR before you've even taken the picture, which makes photography so much easier, especially in cases where you're shooting landscapes, sunsets, uh, areas with low light. This makes it a lot easier to see the final product before you've actually taken it. You've also got selective focus, which gives you sort of a similar uh, feeling as you do with a professional camera where you can change the aperture. What you simply do is just select uh, an item to focus on, take the picture, and then later on you can manipulate the point of focus. All you do is go into gallery, and on the left hand side there, you can now change at the bottom. So for this instance, near focus, nice and clear, background fuzzy. We can change this later if we want to. Fuzzy, background clear, or everything completely clear and shut. In terms of speed, you've got full LTE coverage, uh, all eight bands, so it should work for Category 4 LTE on any network. Uh, wi Fi multiple in and out, it's also the fifth generation of Wi Fi. So we have Wi Fi A, B, G, and N, this is Wi Fi AC as well. Uh, the download booster is interesting. If we go here, Download Booster. This combines LTE and the Wi-Fi MIMO uh, to give you extreme download speeds. You can download movies in a matter of minutes. Uh, in terms of the camera, just to mention from before, what we've done is taken the autofocus technology from our NX series cameras. They use a hybrid autofocus, which is phase detection and contrast focus. This gives you speed and accuracy. So this gives us a really, really fast autofocus of 0.3 seconds. It means your pictures are less likely to be blurred. So if you're taking pictures of your kids and so on, you're going to get nice, clean, sharp images. Um, the device is now completely IP67 rated. So proof and water resistant for up to a depth of a meter for 30 minutes. We also have the fingerprint scanner. The way the fingerprint scanner works is you can register up to three fingers and you can use the fingerprint scanner to unlock the phone, verify your Samsung account or even verify a PayPal payment. Swiping down is the way that our fingerprint sensor works which differentiates us from some other competitors where you'd simply just press. By doing this you're actually wiping away the fingerprint at the same time. S Health is now S Health version 3.0, and on the back we have a built in heart rate monitor. So you have the normal flash here, and then the heart rate sensor is there, small diodes. Simply all you need to do is press heart rate, place your finger on the sensor. It gives you a fairly quick, accurate sense. This also works in combination.